What's going on guys, it's Ness bringing you guys my Dragon Hold build for the Magical Warden. Magical Warden is super strong yet again. It's been very strong for a while, capitalizing off the high max magic and everything like that, and taking my Necro build over to this class's patch is definitely the way to go. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. Going into the character sheet, these are our unbuffed stats. We have 52k max unbuffed, that gets a lot higher. We have 23k health unbuffed again. 17k stam, 1500 magical recovery unbuffed, 1500 spell damage, 40% crit buffed. You can see the rest of the numbers there for yourself. Months wise, we're going with the mage. Food wise, we're going with sugar skulls. Now to buff up just a bit. These are our buff stats. We're going to have about 1700 mag recovery, 1800 spell damage, 56k max magic. And when we pop our sleep, we're gonna go ahead and get up to 63k max magic. Getting into our gear, back bar we're using an MSA resto, this is for the sustain. Front bar we're using an MSA lightning. This is for obviously the AoE damage. Mag Warden is very AoE focused. We have sub, we have sleep, we have ice comet, we have everything like that. We want to focus on taking down groups of people. We want to focus on taking down a bunch of people when they're on top of us. So this is definitely the build that's going to work for you on that and definitely going to take down multiple people very easily. Going on the monster set, we're using one piece, one piece. So I'm using one Dama House, one Infernal. I don't have a problem with this. If you feel a little bit too squishy or you want to push more old team or resistance, anything like that. There's always blood spawn. Besides that, I wouldn't use anything else here. As for our body set, I'm using Necro. No brainer. We're a warden. We have Natch. Building max magic. This is the best set, period. Going on our jewelry, we have Ancient Grace, all arcane. I have two recovery, one spell damage. I'm a Breton. We're a warden. I have these set up this way because of my Necro. Um, I'm going to get another set of these and just put all spell damage on them. You don't need these recovery on a Warden. Warden has so much sustain, and if you're a Breton, which I highly recommend being a Breton, you don't need these mag recovery. So I would go all spell damage. Getting into the skills, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. We have Shot Clench, Bird of Prey, Inner Light, Deep Fisher, Blue Betty, Ice Comet. Our back bar is going to be Mugen. Arctic Blast, this is a CC and a big heal. Race Against Time, Living Trellis, Ice Fortress, and Northern Storm. We're basically using Ice Comet on our front bar to buff our max magic and use as a single target ulti. And then back bar, obviously we have Northern Storm as a more AoE ulti. And we pop this off our back bar and then switch to our front bar so we get this high max magic. Because whenever you pop this, it increases your max magic by 15% for 30 seconds. So it works like a war horn, basically. Um, for anybody thinking you're not going to be able to kill single people with this, uh, your deep fisher tooltip is over 20k, fully buffed. So you pretty much one shot anybody you want to, just spamming shot clench and deep fisher on them. If you want, you can put on the fetcher infection, but that's up to you. Same thing, if you're going more single target, you can put on birds over shot clench, but then I would put on a willpower staff front bar. Going on to the CP, we have 40 Warlord, 39 Sprinter, 2 Bashing Focus, 1 Siphoner, 76 Arcanist, 56 and 56. As for Blue, we have 37 Elfborn, 49 Ellie Expert, 47 Spell Erosion, 81 Master in Arms, pretty much everything we do is direct damage aside from Sleep. Which, just to buff Sleet, we are putting, putting 56 in the palm. This did not used to buff Sleet, but now my friends have been telling me it does. And I've been seeing the numbers go up, obviously, when I put CP into it. So, I would definitely put some points in the thalm. Obviously, Permafrost isn't hitting too hard anymore, but Northern Storm definitely is. So, you're definitely going to want to put some points in here just to buff up your Sleet when you do pop off on people. And, of course, if you're going to slot any dots or anything like that. Using 61 Ironclad, 43 Resistance, 43, 43, 37, and 43 Quick Recovery. You guys should know this by now. My good old Red CP. 
And yeah, I guess that's about it. Trying to keep it short and sweet. Magwarden hits like a truck. It's just like Magnecro, the two strongest AoE mag classes at the moment. Whenever you get a group of people on you, you know, you're super tanky, you can heal right through anything, and then you can just turn around and bust them up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. I'm Ness, and I'm out.